First and foremost, good day and a big hand to you for watching this video on how to protect yourself from scams. The big question mark is, what is scam? And what are the types of scam that happens rampantly in Malaysia? I'm Inspector Sheila from the Commercial Crime Investigation Department. Without further ado, let's dive into the topic. What is defined as scam? A scam is a scheme or trick used to cheat something from a person, in most cases your money and your personal information. Now let's see what are the type of crime that occurs. Firstly, it is the phone scam. Calls that appear to be from trusted officials, either claiming to be from the police, bank, court, courier services, alleging your name and your identity are connected to drugs and money laundering. How do we protect ourselves? Never ever reveal your personal information such as your IC number, debit or credit card details, username and password if you're online banking, your tech number, your pictures of bank cards or IC copy, over phone calls or WhatsApp. Upon receiving such calls, end it right away and go to the nearest police station to cross-check on your records yourself. The second type of scams are online purchases. Remember to only shop on secure sites such as Lazada, Shopee, but never on Facebook or Instagram unless you have checked the bank account given via PDRM's CCID portal under the category of Sema Mule to check whether the bank account is a scam account or not. If there's a previous police cases on it, do not initiate the money transfer. The link that you should check on would be http slash ccid.rmp.gov.my slash or you may download the app on Google Play labeled as Check Scammers CCID. However, there's no guarantee that your cash is 100% safe, which is why we always recommend for cash on delivery instead. When you use such secure sites such as Lazada or Shopee, remember to shop in that application itself and not to deal it over a WhatsApp because it's not a secure platform anymore. Also, when you do your online purchases, do not transfer to an individual bank account. It is considered safer if you were to transfer to a company's bank account as you may claim your money in case your items are not being delivered. Also, another type of case which the police department receives every now and then are identified as sex scam in which the modus operandi of these scammers are to advertise on an online application namely WeChat, Tinder, MeChat. Scammers persuade the victims to make advance payment and to pass on their IC pictures in exchange for sexual favours. Believing them, these victims would proceed with an online payment. However, they end up paying more because they are being threatened that their details would be misused and to be viral on social media. Fearing this, victim obeys the instructions given by the scammer. How to protect yourself? In this case, do not make any payment to a third party or to share your personal information at any cost. The next type of scams are known as money lender scam. Remember, the money lender services are required to be registered and to be approved by the Ministry of Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government, KPKT. And so, it is your duty to obtain the company's name and registration number, SSM, and cross-checking it on the KPKT's website to ensure that it has been listed and certified before you proceed to make any payment. The last type of scam would be investment scams. Any investment that says that they are guaranteed returns, even unrealistic returns, in a short period of time, now that's a big red flag that is a scam. Protect yourself by checking thoroughly whether these investment companies are first registered with Bank Negara. You may do so by visiting the page www.bnm.gov.my and if the said company is registered, only then you may proceed. To sum up, never reveal your personal information over phone calls or WhatsApp or to make a money transfer to a third party without cross-checking if they are first registered with the relevant authorities. Fellow Malaysians, do know that we police officers are always here for you and you may always call and see us at any police station nearest to you should you have any questions. And to you, evildoer criminals, watch out for we are coming after you. Till then, stay safe with your loved ones and keep yourselves updated with the latest police news by following our Facebook page named as Royal Malaysia Police. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.